sense. You gave him a course. Uh, you know, I knew he would say it was irrelevant when I asked him that. <laughs> I know. I love your <laughs> chuckle afterwards. <laughs> you were waiting yeah, for it. That's it. Go ahead. Say irrelevant. It's like, <laughs> it's, would, it's like the wait. fisherman. It's like the fisherman with the bait. I know you're going to bite. Now I'm going to have you for dinner. <laughs> I want to know why they're running away from Earth Turn. Isn't that their, their whole claim? That the Earth is rotating? Because it's not. No. Oh, it's a straw man. The Coriolis is yeah. a straw man. You wouldn't running go, wait a second, Alwyn. That was supposed to be yeti. proof. Yeah, yeah that was before that. us. <laughs> that was proof before Flat Earth debate. <laughs> they're not proof they're only physical demonstration of their actual claim, which is the conservation of momentum, which is not Coriolis effect. The only physical demonstration of the Earth turning is showing us schema and dance for, uh, video. That is their only one they've ever come up with. Not really. It's just stars turning around us. That's what it's always been. It's the only yeah, thing but it always I'm talking about what they come up with. I'm talking about what they come up with. Their only physical demonstration of this is this conservation of momentum from yeah, Steam and Dan's no, that's video. Wrong. No, that's wrong. Yeah, that's going to convince everyone from a neutral perspective that the Earth is spinning. The it's only thing that really does is that the stars are turning. That's the only that's thing. That's right, that's really uh, 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 guys, 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 that's anything. correct. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Owen's correct. The only real thing that seems to be moving, apparently and obviously, are the luminaries. Well, their assertion isn't conservation and momentum, as you're trying to argue. That might be what they claim here at trench level. But the real claim, the actual claim, is Coriolis deflection. You know, Neil deGrasse Tyson with his ball drifting. That's the actual claim. So when Ed <laughs> says to me, What's the explanation for there being no drift in the heliocentric model? There isn't one. There's a drift in the heliocentric model. So he's trying to corner me into giving him a justification of conservation of angular or linear momentum. No, your claims drift in the model. Yeah, no, I, I'm not saying that. What, what, sorry, what I'm saying is that their claim is Coriolis effect. But the only physical demonstration they can give us is the opposite of that. Yes, 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 that's correct. <laughs> they, they claim drift and then give us a demonstration with no drift. They say Earth turns underneath 15 degrees an hour. Here's a man being pulled by something moving that's not drifting. That's our example. A man not drifting at 15 degrees an hour. Correct. <laughs> Just like they claim that the, the natural effects of perspective are obstruction, physical obstruction. They claim always, they always claim the opposite of everything to yeah. justify their model. Yeah, you're right. It's always inverted. So for the last few days, it has proven that Earth does not spin. Yeah. I trimmed out his video. Can. I trimmed out his spit from yesterday, even though it was tedious same thing being asserted for an hour straight i trimmed it down to just over half an hour <laughs> still bloody long but yeah it's just a constant assertion from them that we don't have drift he's gonna have ballers mad at him boy <laughs> what i think he was trying to accomplish is just try to get away the claim from your side from the flat earth side towards the ballers that what their claims are like, they just don't agree with what you claim the heliocentric model is. They like to keep it more flexible. Yeah, yeah. They, they just... Open-ended. Yes. That's, that's because they can never defend it without taking our position in their answer. That's why it's inverted. They have to come back to reality and say what we say. And then we say, oh, welcome to Flat Earth. Oh, welcome to Flat Earth. They keep denying the very premise they're trying to sell. Well, the entire issue is, is that we as flat earthers have a natural tendency. We got here, we arrived here because we want to dig through the actual details and get a, a more real, solid picture of what's going on. So we looked through their model. We figured out, wait, all these things have this as natural consequences because we're actual, actual follow-up logical thinkers. They're not. They never were. They're just dreamers. They like to play the peer pressure game to side with the religion. So to them, it's like, why are you straw manning us? Because we never do that. We are just dreaming about it and calling it science. 
Yeah, you're right, yeah. but uh, it goes to the top because even Andrew Thomas Young says you got to take uh, uh, consideration, geometrical consideration. So it never sticks to the facts. You have to change something. And Nathan, remember the other day when I went on about the EQ mounting uh, and I couldn't prove my assertion on it. Uh, what you were saying was correct. What they say, I can't disprove, so I'm wrong. Okay, to make that assertion, I still, still personally believe that the motion or the the mechanics of the EQ mount wouldn't work on the globe. But that's not the point because I can't prove it, so I'm wrong. So I, thought, I was going to do this yesterday, but when I went to come on the show, my uncle and my friend came along at the same time. So I was listening to the show with one ear with one earpiece in and talking to them. I couldn't join in on it. So sure. if you want, I will. If hopefully I'm on tomorrow or Friday. I will come in, I will make a public statement that I'm wrong. More no, than what I did the other day. No, no need. You know, you're wrapping your head around something that is complicated in the assertions that they make with these apparatus like um, uh, equatorial mount. Well, I thought of an easier way of dicing that down that I didn't have in on the tip of my tongue when we were discussing it. So in the same way that if you've got a gyro, it's spinning in a fixed frame right it's just spinning in the same relative position and then the cage moves around it and that's what they claim is the deviation at 15 degrees now the drift well the movement of that cage that they're claiming i'm not saying this happens right is what you would have in the equatorial mount as the the counter movement so what you see in the drift of their claim that the gyro moves would be the opposite movement that you get when you're using a equatorial mount to track the sun for the sake of argument so you see the opposite of the drift that is claimed to be in a gyro does that make sense uh i'm getting yeah i think so i think i know what you mean i think i know where you're going with it so the, the gyro is spinning in fixed um, space and let's say you're because they're claiming earth turning underneath you p fix your telescope pointing directly at the sun well in the same way that the gyro is going to be relatively fixed in its spin position in that reference frame but what you are claimed to observe is the, the cage of the gyro moving around it because it's the earth turning underneath it. Well, that movement of the cage means that you've got the movement of the gyro staying effectively like it's looking at the sun with the telescope. So the telescope stays in one position and <clears throat> the movement of the EQ mount is counteracting their claim that the earth is turning underneath. Whereas when you were describing it, you, you were saying, well, you shouldn't have to counteract it. And it's like, well, no, you wouldn't have to counteract it if you were a camera looking at the sun and attached to a balloon, but the balloon had Earth turning underneath it. So in other words, you've then got the balloon and the sun in the same reference frame and the sun and moon, uh, sun and moon, sun and balloon wouldn't have to do a damn thing. They're both just in the same relative position as Earth happily moves underneath them. But that would involve, like the helicopter, Earth turning underneath the balloon, right? And as Flat Sword shown, that simply doesn't happen. Nothing's turning underneath at 15 degrees an hour, including the sun, including balls, including bullets, including equatorial mounts. They're just tracking something that moves relative to us as far as we can tell. Definitely not Earth turning underneath. Yeah, okay, yeah. Well, the only reason I was going to do it, if you wanted me to is that you would then have a clip because they're always saying that we won't admit when we're wrong, which is a load of rubbish. It's just projection. It's always them. But you did that. that. But you did that on the show and it was recorded and we all heard it. You already did it. Uh, okay, no, yeah, it's, I'm recording. Let me just uh, no, no, it's okay. Explain myself a second. I'll give you what you want. I'm recording. So say I'm, I'm wrong <laughs> about the EQ mount, like it matters. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was wrong. I was wrong. I just want to state that I was wrong in my assertion concerning the uh, EQ mount and the, the fact that the the that the uh, how it tracks the sun. Uh, I was wrong that 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 disproves our rotation. Oh right. my God, Ryan! You know that in half but, a year, some baller is going to make that. Yeah, but hang on, you, you, use leave, leave me finish. Leave me finish, Aaron. The reason I was going to do that, the reason I, I did not that I was trying to push to do it, it though I don't mind whether Nathan puts that out or doesn't. The point I'm making is that. We are then showing that we admit when we're wrong. Something they won't do. So I don't mind taking one for the team if it means that we then have, there you go, there's audio of a flat order admitting he's wrong. Ah, it's now, not you admitting you're wrong. It's you wrapping your head on a live show around a concept that's complicated. 
you know, because it's the reason it's complicated is because they assert something that simply doesn't happen. And when we point out it doesn't happen, they give you a completely opposite explanation with the very effect that we're supposed to be seeing not happening. So in the case of Earth turning underneath a balloon to keep it in the same reference frame as the sun, which is what would have to happen with the EQ mount for it to not rotate its head, so to speak. Well, for that to happen, they'd have to have Earth turning underneath the balloon. Now, because that doesn't happen, they spend most of their time arguing with us about how we wouldn't see drift. Well, that's confusing, intentionally so. So when you're, un when you're back engineering it out of your brain, you're going to have little mistakes. But this is no big deal, Brian. No, I just wanted to be. I just wanted to make sure that there was total honesty. Fair enough. Uh, because it's important we hold that hold that because they are always saying the <laughs> flat earthers never admit well, when it, you're wrong. Look, it's I make mistakes all the time. Bro, your I'm honesty was bad. never in question, my man. No, indeed, but Thank time you. and dances, so I can now contrast that. Given that Brian has been so conciliatory with his error, it would be nice if Dan conceded his error. <laughs> Now he's saying you and your reference yeah. frames have been ruined. Now that's an egregious yeah. error that he needs to concede now, isn't it? No, they never yes. will. He's never going to do it on such a high profile mistake. They always double down on the high profile ones. And you made it into one, Nathan. He probably thought at the time it was just a loose remark. It was kind of innocent. And then you put it on the front lines to be repeated on every day, and now it's a frontline mistake, and he can never correct that again. Nope. Don't mess with the hippos. That you win. Yeah, don't poke the bears, Dan. You want to proactively tweet me? Believe me, no matter how short that statement is, I will use it against you. And I have, haven't I? And now, as Arwen correctly identifies, you're never going to get away from this. Ever. He thought the hippos were nice. Uh, can I just say, uh, just from my own belief, not proof, I can't prove it, so, but just from my own belief, from studying the EQ mount, I believe that if it was going to be made to work on a rotating reference frame, that at the base of it would be the one that would be turning at 15 degrees an hour and not the lens. That's only my belief. Okie dokie. Again, regardless of your belief in this regard, their claim is Earth turns underneath the sun at 15 degrees an hour and under bullets at 15 degrees an hour and under hot air balloons at 15 degrees an hour, meaning they'd land in a different country, under drones at 15 degrees an hour, meaning they'd whiz away from you at 1,000 miles an hour at the equator, under planes, which would shorten the flight times when going west. <laughs> you know, that's the bottom line here. And in this regard, if you get something wrong about reference frames... Brian, this is the real bottom line. What reference frames are you claiming here? Oh, none. As a flat earther, you don't have any requirement for them. It's only your understanding of their claim with their reference frames. Well, I've got news for you, Brian. You and your reference frames are ruined. Oh, what's that? You, you don't have any. You don't have any, so you don't need to concern yourself then. No, I don't. Thanks, Nathan. <laughs> 